Mega Mechatronics. Shut up and sit down. That was a quick look at the cruise missile water methanol system installation. I've installed water methanol on both of my cars so I can show you what I did to install those and we'll also talk about tuning for water methanol injection. In this video stick around there's going to be some interesting results and you'll know why I showed you all these different ways to test for methanol content. If you like the video hit the thumbs up. So let's check out the results. Okay, I got the recorder going, and we saw this last time, These uh, the blue washer fluid and these other products. We don't have to see the other stuff. And you can see the, the booster and, and these things, of course, burn. So let's reveal um, a DIY mixture. Um, you got to select the window. Okay, I'll have to do it this way. I was trying to do some undo action here. Okay, so this is blue washer fluid, minus 20 blue washer fluid, plus a bottle of heat. So the result of that was uh, approximately 35% methanol content, um, which is pretty effective. So. Blue washer fluid, you could probably go to a big store and get it for less than $2 a gallon for the minus 20. Down south, you're probably going to have trouble getting minus 20 product. And then a bottle of heat, gasoline freeze. So again, you southerners, look at you, boo-hoo. It just snowed 8 inches today. So you could see 35%. This, this would be pretty effective. So my friends here in Detroit... Uh, this is this is an alternative here and you can see this mixture does burn indeed here we go with the first supplier this is going to be snow performance this is what they gave me here look at that look how how similar that is so it's basically the same thing I don't know if how how their quality is I don't have data we, we just don't have a lot of data points so you guys out there can learn from these methods. Uh, the fire test um, might not be effective because you can see it burns here, but they advertise 49% methanol content. And they're giving us 10% less methanol, 37%. Lastly, we have our Devil's Brew, but remember, we still have these three charts. Uh, so it's going to be kind of cool to if you stick around and check out some of these charts. So make sure you subscribe uh, for future methanol videos and, and future mechatronics and car stuff. So here we go. Devil's Brew. Look at that. Wow. It's just not right. Devil's Own was in disbelief when I contacted them. They wanted me to go through the trouble to send back so they can take samples of it and test it. So that was uh, kind of insulting. Devil's Own out there. It's not my problem. It's your problem. You figure it out. But you should have supported your customer. I'm your customer. Yeah, 
problem solved if I mix my own. Or I go to E85. Um, so yeah, it didn't burn. It froze in the, uh, in the cruise missile water methanol reservoir. All right, so let's check out these charts. So now that you, we have all this information out here, we'll go into our first chart here. Okay, so now we're back here. So this is our 100 milliliter sample grams versus methanol content. So w what does this mean? It means if you take a graduated cylinder, 100 milliliter graduated cylinder and fill it, fill whatever mystery sample, this devil's own stuff that you have or this boost juice you have, get that 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. There's a kit, there's a link below if you need some help finding one or the kit I bought and also a gram scale. You can pick it up at a local store again on Amazon. You can get uh, a scale. So you tear it with the empty graduated cylinder and then you fill it with your mystery sample and then you can use this chart right here. Uh, so here is the sample weight in grams. So whatever sample weight you get, let's say you measure 90 grams on your mystery sample. Go to 90, follow all the way across, it crosses this line, come down, here's your methanol content, 55%, right there. Or if you mixed it yourself and you want to check. So this is an inexpensive way to do it. So here's your chart. So the, the single blue line is when I characterize it with the VP fuels to, to kind of give us a very accurate characterization of this curve. And then you can see my other tests follow that or you know, that's how I, I determined their methanol content. And let's look at the next chart. So here's that hydrometer. Again, there's a link below on the one I'm used. Uh, the, the proper rating for that, if you want to get that, use that method. That's another easy method. Cheap way to check for, for uh, and, and start quality checking these companies. So maybe after this video, uh, they will up their standards and know that their customers are now watching. Uh, because there's several easy ways to kind of uh, quality check this stuff at home that you got that you guys and gals may have never heard of. So again, here's the the specific gravity reading. So you're gonna get this hydrometer, and then you're going to put that in a sample, and it's gonna float. It's gonna bob to a certain level, and then here uh, again, let's say you read. 0.95 you follow that over around this region and you could see between 25 and 30 percent so you could see I, I was off slightly by a little percent but it's not that significant so it's still rather accurate this is probably easier because it's one where where this method you need a graduated cylinder and a scale but you might already have a scale and here comes the refractometer ref refractometer so this is using ethanol. This is for alcohol and for, for drink, for beer making, essentially. So if you go on Amazon, they're typically under uh, beer making. So this is the methanol and you can see this parabola type shape here. Um, it was, it was difficult to determine. So there's going to be error from my judgment as far as the blue cutoff line on the scale, looking through the viewfinder. Um, uh, but I, I wouldn't recommend this method because it, you know here it could be 20% methanol or 80% methanol type of thing um, especially up here you don't know what side you're on uh, based on your reading so if you're reading 15% alcohol on this this meter if you have one of these if you make a beer and you have one uh, it could be either 35% or it could be 70% methanol I suppose if you're purchasing it, they wouldn't give you extra methanol, but maybe if you're mixing it yourself, this is probably not the best method. So I, I certainly wanted to share the measurement for these products to show you that they were sealed. Here's the devil's own, devil, uh, devil's own brew, they call it. So we'll uh, skip ahead here and, and here's that seal. And just showing you, you know, it's sealed and this is the best proof I have. This is proof here that you need to check it. You need to see what you're purchasing. So there you go. We got our measurements. And then we have our boost juice again. 
I'm showing the, the seal being removed. It's pretty hard to fake that as well. So again, just so you can see it with your own eyes, here's the measurements. Now um, we'll take a, a peek at the frozen samples here. So you got uh, minus 14 C, about 19 in the room. And you can see they're all pretty much liquid. Liquid, liquid, okay. So then we get down to my 10% methanol. And you can see it's pretty slushy. There is a little bit of liquid, but it is pretty slushy. So let's open that up. And we can just kind of poke it, see if anything's solid, but it is pretty slushy. And then finally, let's check out this Devil's Own Brew after the freezer test. So I don't know if this is the best way because it really can only detect um, down to about 10%, maybe 15% will slush up in your freezer. There we go. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up, like button if you did like this video. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and more. And remember those uh, Amazon links down below for some of these products so that you can test the methanol content. Alright, thanks a lot. See you next time.